Skipper forced off a Cambridge intersection and right into the Charles River. He thought he would die, but quick moves saved his life. Tonight, he's speaking about the whole ordeal. WBC's Ken McLeod has the story. A 40-year-old carpenter never made it to work this morning because his car was broadsided at this intersection of Memorial Drive, and the impact sent him plunging into the Charles River. Ronaldo Kamers was clearly struggling a bit as his family helped him return to his Burlington apartment this afternoon. How are you feeling, Ronaldo? Oh, I'm bad. Oh, when did water start coming and had to hold his breath for like, you know, there was no air inside. He saw. Like, maybe my time has come. She's talking about her dad's drive to work just before 6.30 this morning when a commercial utility truck T-boned him on Memorial Drive in Cambridge, sending his Subaru careening through a fence and into the Charles River. He said it was like kind of like in a movie. He didn't believe it was happening to him. You know, he got very scared, but at the moment, the adrenaline, like, you just think, like, how can I do survive? With the car quickly sinking and the deployed airbags making it hard to move, Kamers decided his only possible exit was above him. He thought about the sunroof, and then he looked, and he saw it was a little bit broke. So he started net, like hitting with his neck, uh, with his head. It took several headbutts, but he smashed through the sunroof, pulled himself out, and bobbed to the surface, where rowing coach John Lindbergh pulled him aboard. I was just hoping they'd be able to get out, uh, and that, thankfully, uh, the gentleman popped up. Kamers went to the hospital with a bruised skull and a nasty gash on his leg. His young son visited in tears. He was okay and, you know, said I loved him. And, yeah, luckily he's alive. He told his daughter that if the car had flipped into the water, he wouldn't have survived. But she says he's handling the ordeal with his usual sense of humor. When we saw him in the hospital and he was making jokes, we're like, okay, he's actually fine. The driver of that commercial truck accused of causing this accident, a 29-year-old Lynn man, has now been charged by state police with running that red light. In Cambridge, Ken McLeod for CBSN Boston.